Shalom, giving infinite honor, giving infinite praises, giving infinite glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rokhar, Kudash, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai Mashiach, Barakata Yahshallah, Barakata Yahweh, Kala, Kala, Shalom, Shalom, Halawaya, Halawaya. We're going to give double honors to the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone, who teach in Ruel and overseeing the construction of the tabernacle of David, a more perfect tabernacle. Shalom to the Akim, while Abwaf shattered, scattered abroad. Shalom to the Sea Believers scattered abroad. This is Yahweh Sop, my Yahshua, my Yahweh, coming to you live through the Spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemia Yahshua. You know, the quick lesson. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into it. Uh, this lesson is going to be Hosea chapter 13. Um, from verse 1 all the way down And hopefully it'll be edifying to the hopeful elect And to um, to who, to those who know watch So this is Hosea chapter 13 verse 1 When Ephraim spake trembling He exalted himself in Israel But when he offended in Baal He died So basically you know right there Ephraim um, is one of the 12 tribes of Israel Ephraim being the um the head tribe of what is known as the Northern Kingdom, which today we know are the Latin tribes, the Hispanics, Latinos, and Native Americans, and wherever they be scattered abroad. When Ephraim spake trembling, he exalted himself in Israel, but when he offended in Baal, he died. Talking about when he um, when Ephraim was led into idolatrous worships worship worships of um you know idols, all these fake idols, these um. These idols who who don't profit, you know, these idols who are ultimately um not real or lower, or if they are real, they're they're lower gods on the left hand side and um what is known as the divine council of the Most High. So, but when he offended and by all he died, that means he you know he went he he went off. Um, let's get a couple scriptures on that. Scripture I always explain scripture. Come on now, Bible. See, I know it was something, 16, Proverbs 21, 16, so like it. Proverbs 21 and 16, the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Talking about when you, the way of understanding is the law, such the commandments of the most high. And um, idolatrous worship is breaking one of the commandments, you know. And when, once you wander out of once you, you know, wander out of the way of understanding, you uh, remain in the congregation of the dead. Just get another scripture. The book of Baruch. Chapter four. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High and the law that endure forever. All they, all they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. So going back to Hosea 13. 13 and 1. When Ephraim spake trembling, he exalted himself in Israel. But when he offended him by all, he died. Both physically and spiritually, you know. And now they sin more and more and have made them multi images of their silvers and idols according to their own understanding. All of it, it's like all of it, the work of the craftsmen, they say of them, let the men that sacrifice kiss the calves, you know, talking, going into the idol worship. But a lot of Latin tribes and Native American tribes and Hispanic tribes are still heavily in today, you know, when you go and 
Um, I forget where, maybe, I think it's Brazil. You know, you got that big ass statue of that, uh, that white boy, that, uh, that cracker. You got that image of the white boy standing up and then you make people pay to see the image, you know, that stupid ass, um, whatever it's called, the big ass statue of that white boy. And that's off. That's off according to the Bible. That's idol worship. That's idolatry. That's t- that's the type of stuff you get put to death for, you know? And ultimately, that's why the Most High is angry with the whole nation of Israel because they played the harlot, you know? They became adulterous, adulter- adulterers and adulteresses and went into all these, uh, this idol worship. And y'all need, y'all, everybody needs to come out of that because those, those idol worships, they're just, they're, they're just idols, you know? It's good. And they can't do nothing for you, you know, when it's when it's going to come time. When it comes time down to it, they can't really do nothing for you. Get wisdom of Solomon 7, then I'll probably jump to 15. Okay, so I can just guess I gotta jump to 15 then. Or if it's not 15, I gotta look at my notes. So this is um, Wisdom of Solomon chapter. Um, I guess I gotta start at verse 3. For to know thee is perfect righteousness, yeah. To know thee, you know, thy power is the root of immortality. Like it says, this is the book of life that endure forever. The book of life, you know, these commandments give you life, spiritual life. Ultimately, they prolong your physical life. And um, also, you know, they teach you how they teach you how to move in this world. You know, when you when you take real grasp and hold and apply these scriptures, you have a better understanding of, of how to do the Lord's will. And how to move in this wicked ass world. So this is verse four. For neither did the mischievous invention of men deceive us. Neither did the mischievous invention of men deceive us, nor an image spotted with diverse colors, the paint the painter's fruitless labor. The sight whereof entices fools to lust after it, so they desire the form of a dead image that have no breath. Both they that make them they that desire them and they that worship them are lovers of evil things and are worthy to have such things to trust upon. Yeah, you want to trust if 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 you want to go worship after a, a dead image that has no breath, it can't it can't do anything for you. Hey, stupid is as stupid as you play stupid games, you get stupid prizes. It says for the potter, temper, tempering soft earth, fashioneth every vessel with much labor for our service. Yeah, of the same clay he make of both the vessels that serve for clean uses and likewise also such as serve to the contrary. But what is the use of either sort? The potter himself is the judge. And employing his labors lewdly, he maketh a vain god of the same clay, and even which a little slucky, and even he which a little before was made of earth himself, and within a little while after returning to the same out when his life was went, which was lent him shall be demanded. Talking about, um, you know, verse verse seven saying, talking about, you know, the worksman, the craftsman. He's the one that has control of materials. That's where people go to to get their autos and boom, boom, boom. He can make a, like, like the uh, idol unto honor. It's like you, yeah, a work unto honor, a vessel of honor and a vessel of dishonor, you know. But in verse eight, you know, he put the, um, through the willing power of most high and the most high, you know, guides his step and puts his works to you to make a, 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 a vain idol, you know, to, you know, the, the deceived and deceiver, the deceiver and deceive are both mine, you know. And it says, uh, within a little while after uh, Salakia, even he, which was a little before was made of earth himself, you know, from earth we came from, um, from dust we once came to dust we once returned, you know. And within a little while after returning to the same, out when his life was, which, which, which was lent to him, because all of our spirits come from the most high, you know. 
we this body, you know, we don't we don't have control over the spirit. You know, like a, um the book of Ecclesiastes said, we don't have control over spirit. When it's time for the spirit to leave, the spirit has to go. You can't you can't say unless you know you pray to the Lord. You know the Lord sees fit and merciful. You know to give you a, a couple more years. You can't just be, you can't control the spirit. When the spirit when the spirit's time to go, the spirit got to go. He said notwithstanding his care is. Not that he shall have much labor, nor that his life is short, but striveth to excel goldsmiths and silversmiths, and endureth, endeavoreth to do like the workers in brass, and counteth it his glory to make counterfeit things. Let me just get to the point, because I don't want to make this long video. So, um, I'm going to get uh, these last three verses, and I'm going to go back to Hosea. So, uh, Wisdom of Solomon hit 15 and 14. And all the enemies of my people that hold them in sub sub uh, subjection are most foolish and more, um, I got to get 13 for context. For this man that of earthly matter maketh brittle vessels and graven images know of himself to offend above all others. Yeah, because you're the you're the one that's introducing these idols into the community, you know. And all the enemies of thy people that hold them in subjection are most foolish and are more miserable than very babes, you know. Because you, you hey, the, the verse is clear. For they counted all the idol, idols of the heathens to be gods, which neither have the use of eyes to see nor the noses to draw breath, nor ears to hear, nor fingers and hands to handle, and as far as their feet, they are slow to go. And that's that's ultimately the point because let's go back to the verse. Um And now they send more and more and have made them multi images of their silver and idols according to their own understanding out of all so like all all of it the work of the craftsmen they say to them let the men and sacrifice kiss the calves you know all y'all make a, a lot of people worship these, these idols that they can't help you you know it says which neither have the use of eyes to see nor the noses to try to draw the breath breath nor ears to hear nor fingers and hands to handle and as far as their feet they're slow to go you know they, they can't help you you know Let me um and this is and this is uh, another point verse seventeen for being mortal he worketh a dead thing with wicked hands, for he himself is better than the thing which he worshipeth why whereas he lived once, but they never you know you people worship these dead images and these idols. No, not knowing you have more power than that idol because why you you've lived this idol has never this the idol has never lived it can't do anything it's it's ultimately it can't do anything unless you help it you know you have to set the statue up this down the third let me not get deep into it because the, the, the you know the verse is clear so Isaiah thirteen and three therefore they shall be as the morning cloud and as the early dew that passeth away. As the chaff that is driven with the world went out of the floor, and as the smoke out of the chimney, you know, I'm talking about because you know all these the the northern kingdom and ultimately the southern kingdom too went heavy into idolatrous worship. You know, the, the Lord is gonna punish you, and it's gonna be a brutal, brutal, and, and 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 a very brutal punishment, which we have seen throughout history. You know, the conquest the conquistadors, um. You know how they treated the Native American tribes when they when they when the so called Edomites got here, the white man. We see we see these things ob ob objectively observed in history. What happened because of our you know our idolatrous worship? So Isaiah thirteen and four, yet I yet I am Yahweh thy power from the land of Egypt, and thou shalt know no god but me, for there is no savior beside me. For there is no savior beside me. None of these idols stood up. You know, when it was our time of trouble, none of these idols stood up to deliver us. And this is a um a reiteration of Exodus twenty and five, you know, that first uh and thou shalt know no God but me. That's 
Exodus 20 and 4 is like him. I did know thee in the wilderness and the land of great drought. And that's even that's probably why uh one of the multiple reasons why Yahweh is so pissed off with the people of our, our nation who go into idolatrous worship because he did such a great work in the land of Egypt to even bring us to free us, you know? He did such a great and powerful work. And then after seeing all this stuff, we still went to worship a dead idol who couldn't who couldn't who couldn't even do one percent of the things that the most high did to bring us out of Egypt. Let's that's that's even being generous. That one percent is very generous. It says Hosea thirteen and five, I did know thee in the wilderness and the land of great drought. According to their pasture, so was they filled, they were filled and their heart was exalted. Therefore have they forgotten me. And that's a lot that's a lot of people, you know. The uh, we we become so um westernized and become so um trusting in the shadow of Egypt. Trusting in the Pharaoh of Egypt that we forget about our power, the most high. That that you know what I'm saying, we forget, we turn our back on the most high through our idolatrous worship. It says in verse seven, therefore I'll be unto them as a lion, as a leopard, by the way, will I observe them. Let's look into that word. Strong's H seventy seven eighty nine. Sure, sure, to see and behold, second entry, like you. tour, tour, to see, behold, observe, regard, to behold, reserve, to regard, to what, to watch, watch stealthily, lie in wait, yeah, because most high, the most high, he's he's long suffering, so he's going to wait, and then he's going to pounce on your ass, you know, and that's what's going to happen in this time, the day of the Lord, so coming has what, a thief in the night, stealthily, covert, under un, under the radar. It says, I will meet them as a bear that is bereaved of her whelps and will rend the call of their heart and there, there I will devour them like a lion. The wild beast shall I tell them. That's, that happened back then. It's going to happen again. You know, the Most High is, gonna, is coming back to, to put the smack down on a lot of you people because you don't want to stop. You don't want to turn and uh, take hold of the book of life. You want to just continue to do your own thing. And because of that, you got a judgment coming. And this is uh, verse 9. O Israel, thou hast destroyed thyself, but in me is thy help. And that's beautiful, you know. Because the Most High, like I said, he's long-suffering. He's waiting on you to come back to him. The Most High, the most high hand is not shortened that he can't save, you know. He's waiting on us to come back to him. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm about to, I'm going to do a part two to this. So, yeah, you know, hopefully this lesson has been edified. You know, oh, Israel, that has a story that so, but in me is thy help. You know, got to turn back to the most high. Got to turn back. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the most high and keep his commandments. And that's part of his commandments. Not, not worshiping no idol. Not worshiping no statue, no, no stupid ass, no stupid ass white boy. For this is the whole duty of man. For the Most High shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. That be.